What's up, YouTube? This is the Animation Air 27 back with you another video, and today will be the second animation talk based on the Flintstones. Now, the Flintstones is one of the most iconic cartoons of all time, and one of my favorite Hanna Barbera cartoons, right up there with Scooby Doo, Tom and Jerry, and the Jetsons. It's one of my favorite Hanna Barbera cartoons of all time, so let's talk about it. First, there are the characters. There's Fred, the jerk slash asshole who constantly gets in the grit which get rich quick schemes with his best friend Barney, who's pretty much dim witted and always screws up Fred's plans, which always gets which always angers their wives Wilma, Fred's wife, who's always on his case when he does something wrong, and Betty, Barney's wife, who is Wilma's best friend in the entire world. And of course they also have their children, Pebbles, who is Fred and Wilma's baby girl, and Bam Bam, Barney and Betty's baby boy. Who, who is pretty much Superman because he's a left off on the doorstep and we never find out what happened to his fam original family. And he's pretty much strong and says this. Bam, 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 bam. And of course, there's also Dino, Fred and Wilma's pet dinosaur that goes, ah, 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 ah. And of course, there's other characters like the Great Gazoo. An alien that only Fred, Barney, Pebbles, Bam Bam, and Dino can see. Mr. Slate, Fred and Barney's boss. Wilma's mother, who's who's Wilma's, of course, Wilma's, Wilma's mom. And is always on Fred for being a lazy sluck. And pretty much many more characters. Now, the Flintstones, of course, is very iconic. Because it was the first animated primetime slash sit sitcom show. Yeah, before we had the Jetsons, the Simpsons, Family Guy... American Dad, The Cleveland Show, Bob's Burgers, King of the Hill, F is for Family, and many more. This was the original animated primetime sitcom before all of those came into the picture. And I, I have to say, it was a pretty great start to it because, let's face it, without the Flintstones, we wouldn't, be ha we wouldn't have never met the Simpson family, the Griffin family, the Jetson family, and many more. We wouldn't have never met those people. Had it not been for Fred in the game, we would have never met them. So what do I think about the Flintstones? Well, I personally love it. It's a really great show that holds up. Yeah, it might be a little bit dated to some people. I mean, I mean, this did come out in 1960, and this was more of a 60s-like sitcom. So many kids might not get into the humor, but I personally do. I like it. It's very funny and very hilarious. And it's very, very good. Now, in the fact, they originally, the Flintstones... We're going to be called the Flagstones, but there's already a comic strip that had characters named the Flagstones, so they couldn't even do it. So they ended up having to change their names to the Flintstones. However, there was an original TV pilot made that had different voices. Well, Wilma had the same voice actress. Betty was played by Looney Tunes and Rocky and Bullwinkle actress June Foray, who sadly passed away three years ago. May she rest in peace. And Fred and Barney were played by Doss Butler, a.k.a. Yohi Bear and Huckleberry Hound. Hold up, just hold up. Scare you? Out of my wits. And 
don't scare Fred, or he'll lose his lunch and my dishes. Hiya, Fred. And uh, what are you made up for? I'm gonna practice spear fishing. Oh, you can't lose. You'll either spear him or they'll die laughing. <laughs> How does it work? Uh, don't point that thing at me. It's loaded. Oops. That was pretty much the scene from the original pilot, which actually became the third episode of the series. But yeah, the Flintstones has become iconic. However, now of course the show ran from 1960 to 1966. At the time, it was the longest-running animated series until you know a certain yellow fa a certain yellow family came into the picture and pretty much stole that thunder. But of course, after the Flintstones ended, there was many more things with them, including a lot a theatrical movie called a man called the Man Called Flintstone, which pretty much was the series finale to the original series, where Fred was mistaken for a secret agent, I think. There was also the Pebbles and Bam Bam show, which focused on Bam Bam and Pebbles as teenagers. There was also more. Sh there was also two movies with them as adults, one called I Yabba Dabba Do, and the other called Holly Rock a Baby, which showed them getting married in the first one, and the latter showing them getting twin babies. Although in those ones, the weird part about the Pebbles and Bam Bam stuff. Is that we know? Is that pet Fred, Barney, Wilma, and Betty look the same? Shouldn't they have you know a little bit of white hair? Aren't I mean technically Pebbles and Bam Bam are all grown up. Shouldn't their hair be you know a little bit more white, like a little bit whiter or grayish? Always on me out for some reason. Then of course there was the Flintstones Christmas Carol, and of course there was one thing an iconic move. Then, of course, there was an iconic special that I think we all know and love. I'll show you, sorry, sorry it took so long, but I'll show you the clip. What are we doing, Fred? They might not even be around anymore. He's there. He's peeking around from behind a tree. Yeah, with both heads. There's two of them, Dad. Are they young and good-looking? Wrong on both counts. Let me see. Holy cow, is horse. That guy's third head is a girl. <laughs> Well, find out if one of those three heads knows how to talk. Okay, okay. Yabba dabba, friend. Well, one thing, the people of the future don't waste any words. They did. I think he said friend. Try it. Oba doba, friend. Hey, did you recognize that word, Bon? Uh, which one, Uba or Tuba? He said friend. Come on, let's take a chance. Jane, they're all coming out. They do look quaint, don't they? Wow, I hope that's not the way our descendants are gonna look. Maybe we've gone so far into the future, the time has started all over again. I wonder if they know any other words. I bet they understand. Yeah, that's right. In 1987, the Flintstones finally met the Jetsons. Now, I have never seen, I have never seen the Flintstones meet the Jetsons. Though maybe some, I might watch it sometime this year. But I have never seen the movie, although I am planning to watch it. I heard it's a really good crossover. It was pretty much the original Simpsons guy. But anyway, there was also the Flintstones... I already mentioned that. Also, there was the live-action Flintstones movies. The first one starring John Goodman and Rick Moranis. And, and, of course, Rosie O'Donnell and Elizabeth Perkins. Then there was the prequel starring... Then, of course, there was the sequels that had Alan coming as Gazoo. I mean, the prequel that had Alan coming as Gazoo. 
And they're both okay. I mean, I will admit the first film is a lot better than the prequel, but they're good. They're good. They're not bad. They're not terrible. They're all right. Not some of the best films I've seen, but they're all right. They're really... I, 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 I'm fine watching them. They're all right. But, of course, that was uh, for a while. But after a while, the Flintstones haven't been seen much. There was a um, a TV special called Flintstones on the Rocks, which pretty much took place before Pebbles and Bam Bam were born and had a more adult tone to it, like the first season. There was also some uh, some short-lived web shorts called The Rubbles, which was a parody of The Osbournes, which which was pretty much a spinoff with Betty, Barney, and Bam Bam. And it pretty much turned Barney from the dim-witted friend to the pretty much jerk that Fred was. There was also uh, this one here. Sounds expensive. Considering you get a kiss from each of us, it's like half off. In that case, I'll take 502. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. The Flintstones had a crossover movie with the WWE, and this wasn't rare because for a while in the mid two thousand in the mid twenty tens, Hanna Barbera had this trend of mixing some of their most popular characters with WWE wrestlers. They did it twice with Scooby Doo, once with the Flintstones, and once with the Jetsons. However, that was it because they pretty much stopped doing that after a while. Though there was. Though Sony Pictures Animation did hop on that trend and did do one with them, the Surf's Up crew. But yeah, for a while there was a trend of mixing popular cartoon characters together with WWE wrestlers. So it was pretty much a trend. I actually do have Flintstones and the WWE Stone Age Smackdown. I actually do have it on DVD. And I have watched it. It's all right. It's good. Not great, not bad. It's all, it's all right. It's, a, it's an all right film. But yeah, the Flintstones is iconic, very iconic and memorable. And I would love to wish the Flintstones and Rubbles a happy 60th anniversary. May we enjoy another six decades with you guys. Anyway, that's pretty much it for my review of the Flintstones. And here's a song to cap it all off. That's pretty much it for my review of the Flintstones. And I want to say thanks for watching, folks, and uh, see you later.